If you are listening to my voice, wherever you are right now, if you are not born again, or perhaps you wandered away from the truth, from Christ, from that fellowship with God, now is another opportunity for you to come into the kingdom of God. What does it mean to be born again? It means that uh, you turn away from your self-righteousness and you depend on Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior. You ask him to come into your life. You believe that God raised him from the dead and you begin a relationship with him. That's what it means to be born again. Jesus talking to Nicodemus says, except a man be born again, he shall not see the kingdom of God. Marvel not that I tell you that a man must, must be born again. And then he tells us how. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. So there is no way around it. Don't tell me that uh, you will have access to God without Jesus. The Bible tells us that he that denies the Son also denies the Father. You cannot come to God except through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Do not procrastinate any longer. Tomorrow is not guaranteed unto you. Just today, about 155,000 people died in the world. Some of them were procrastinating. Now it's too late for them. The day you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. Don't say, let me go and uh, 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 get myself together and then I will come get born again. No, you could not in your own personal effort. Otherwise, Jesus Christ would not have come. But come as you are. When Jesus catches his own fish, he cleans them. He loves you so much that he's not going to keep you the same way that you came to him. Today is the day for you to make that decision. Nobody's going to make it for you. Your friends, relatives, family members. No, you are the one because God created you and I as free mortal agents. We have the right to make choice. This is one of the biggest choices you can, you can make in your own life. The choice of eternal life. Because when we are gone from here, there is another life that is eternal. And this eternal life has two locations only. Heaven or hell. If you want to spend your eternity with God, now is the time to act upon what you've heard now and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. If you reject him, there is a place called hell, a place of torture and torment. People go there and they're born forever with fire and brimstone. Those who rejected Jesus Christ as the Lord and their Savior. Friends, that's why I'm preaching to you today. I love you so much, I don't want you to go to, uh, in that direction. I'm going to lead you now in this very simple prayer. Pray this prayer with me. And today you will be born again and your spirit will be recreated. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I believe he is your son. He died for my sins. You raised him up from the dead on the third day. Dear Jesus, I ask you to come into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior. I believe that I'm now born again, that my sins are washed away. I am now a child of God. Father, I give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Congratulations. Welcome into the kingdom of God. Find a good church where they teach the word of God and be a member of this church so that you can grow in your faith.